Hi, in this video we will see how to install Fabio Helpdesk Community Edition 1.0.7.7. I'm assuming here you have already downloaded Fabio and transferred the files to your server and your server has basic configuration required to run Fabio. So let me just uh, open the browser and show to you how it looks once uh, the Fabio files have been transferred to the server. We'll start with the installation directly. So this is the first screen. Pretty much the installation is a step-by-step -step installer and you have to just proceed from one step to another. In case your server is not configured to run Fabio, it will tell you uh, here itself. On this screen, we will enter our database details. Here it will run a check to see if the database is actually existing and is empty. Now on the screen uh, we will enter our personal details which will be used uh, for us to log into Fabio for the first time. We can put in our name, email address, username and password. After this step the installer will complete. Once the installation is complete uh, all we need to do to make Favio work is to integrate it with our email address so that it can convert the emails to ticket. Okay, here the installation is complete. Now let's log into the Favio. We can click on the login button. Okay, here we can uh, put in our ID and password which we had set in the earlier screen. From here, we'll directly go to the admin panel. On the top right, it says admin panel. We'll just click on the admin panel and go ahead with configuring, configuring Fabio. Okay, in the admin panel, we'll go to email. And this is where we will integrate our email. We'll, create, we'll click on create email. Yes. And here we are going to put our email ID and password. So we'll use this email address for reading the incoming email and also for sending out the email from the Fabio system. After this email has been configured, the next step is to configure the job scheduler. Let's wait for this to finish. that the email configuration is already done let's do the cron job configuration so to go to the cron job screen uh, we have to click on the admin panel on the top right and then go to settings and cron let me just take you there now here under cron job settings you will find three URLs the first URL is to read the emails or convert them to tickets the second URL is for the daily notification that admins and the agents will get every day once a day and the third url is for auto ticket uh, workflow closure so you can copy all the three links from here and copy them to the job scheduler whichever job scheduler you are using we have taken an example of cron here you can set this link in the cron job once this link is set uh, that's it we can get started